Will you ever wonder what this thing is? Well, I'm Frugal Tesla Guy, and I'm going to tell you what it is and how it can help you open the frunk if your 12 volt battery dies. Before I get started, I do want to apologize. I live on a semi busy street, and unfortunately, some of the cars that go by, only a few, are Teslas. The rest, are ice cars and sometimes you might hear a loud muffler go by so I apologize for that but hopefully you can hear me uh, through all of that now in this series I'm doing about the 12 volt battery the last video in the series was swapping out the 12 volt battery unfortunately in order to get to the 12 volt battery you need to pop open the frunk that requires power from the battery and if it's completely dead then how can you get this thing open well, that's where this comes in. And it actually serves two purposes. Number one, as a tow hook, which we won't go into. And number two, it has two wires in there. You put some power to it, and that will open this up. So let's start off by showing you, first of all, how to get this open, and then we'll go from there. So we start by going to the one or the two o'clock position, somewhere within right here. And you're gonna apply some force. Now, sometimes if you push hard enough, it may come out just enough you can get a fingernail in there or a finger but you can also use a plastic tool like this something that won't scratch the paint and that just gets right in there and you can just snap it right open now when you pull this out typically there's some two-sided tape on there that this is attached to which i need to get some new new two-sided tape and put it on there and either one will be attached either it's going to be the negative cable or the positive cable it doesn't matter each car will be different but you pull that out and it will bring both cables. So you've got the positive cable right here. Of course, it's got the red tape and the black tape is gonna be the negative cable. This is for the automatic opening and closing frunk. We won't go into this because this is not what we're here for. All right, so when you pull this out, this is what you have. Again, the positive and the negative cable. So now we're gonna go into the different types of power sources you can use that you attach to these cables and then it will pop open the frunk. So there are three different types of power sources that you can use to attach to these cables that will open the frunk. And two of those power sources will also charge your 12 volt battery and give it the charge that it needs to get you going. Now, another thing to keep in mind is that of those sources that can charge your 12 volt battery, you can't use these cables to charge your 12 volt battery. You actually have to open the frunk, get access to the 12 volt battery and charge it from there. You can't use these cables. So the first power source is what most people are familiar with. And that's just regular jumper cables that are connected to an ICE vehicle. You, you connect the negative to, to this one, you connect the positive to the positive power cable and it will pop open your frunk. Then once you get to the 12 volt battery, you connect those jumper cables to the 12 volt battery and you get the charge that you need. Now the second source is a power bank charger. Now there are several different brands out there. I don't have one myself personally, but if you're the type of person that likes to be on the safe side, that this may not be a bad option for you. They're pretty small, they're pretty portable. You can keep it in your car at all times. And it's just kind of one of those things. It's peace of mind. They also work as other things. You can charge your phones with them. And they, sometimes they have flashlights on them, but they have jumper cables on them. And so what you can do is take those jumper cables, much like that, that's connected to a nice vehicle, connect them to these, it pops open the front. And again, the beauty of these batteries is that they will also give your 12 volt battery the charge it needs. Now, again, quite honestly, I probably should think about getting one myself. Uh, so the one that I'm looking at, I will, of course, be sure to post a link to it uh, that, that I'm looking at at amazon.com. Now, you can also, if you have one yourself and you like it and you like the way it performs, then be sure to post that in the comments section below. I'd love to see what you might be using out there. All right. So the third option, which will open the frunk, but it won't actually charge your 12 volt battery is a very simple option. And that is, believe it or not, this, it's a nine volt battery. And you take the negative terminal, which is right here and the positive one, and you do the same thing. So what you do is you do this, take the negative, positive, oops, there we go. Let's see if we can, a little tricky. I know I can do this, I've done it before. All right, so we do that. 
My goodness. Okay, there's a negative, positive. Look at that. All right, so it opens it on up. So beautiful, right? So now you might be asking yourself the question, what's to keep a thief from performing this and opening up my frunk and sealing everything inside? Well, the beauty of it is Tesla has designed it in a way with security in mind, right? So if you have a perfectly good battery and your doors are locked, this feature will not work. The only way this feature will work if you have a perfectly good 12 volt battery is if the doors are unlocked. Now, if you have a battery, 12 volt battery that's completely dead, and even if your doors are locked, this feature will work. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna prove it to you that it won't work with the doors locked with a perfectly good battery. So what I'm gonna do, as you can see right here, doors are now locked, as you can see right there. It shows that my door is locked. So now I'm gonna take the negative terminal right here, I'm gonna connect it right here. I just did this, why is it so difficult? Okay, there we go. Make sure it's touching. There we go. Positive. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. So again, the doors are locked. I've tried to use this feature, but it won't work. So that's just kind of one added security feature that Tesla has designed into the software. Now that we're all done and we want to tuck everything away, we need to tuck these cables in and then take this and put this cover back on. Now, before we do any of that, you want to make sure that the positive cable, that the metal part is not exposed. This is kind of the same rule that applies to the 12 volt batteries. You don't want the, the positive, uh, the positive uh, cable to really touch anything metal in the car. Same concept here. We just want to make sure that that metal doesn't contact anything in the car. So once we do that, we tuck this all back in. And again, usually, and I'm gonna probably do this a little bit later, there's some two-sided tape, which has kind of gotten old and dirty. And I'm gonna put some more on there. And that, that typically is attached to this. So when you pull this out, it all comes out conveniently and it doesn't get lost in here. So, cause sometimes they get a little lost in, in here and you gotta get your finger in there and, and uh, pull it out. So by being attached to this, it just makes it a bit easier. So again, I'll do that later, but uh, usually it's going to be attached to this if your car is newer. All right, and, you, <laughs> and if you haven't done this a million times like I have. So let's go ahead and tuck these back in. And it doesn't matter how pretty it is. I'm just going to go ahead and get that tucked in there. I don't have to worry about the red touching anything metal because I've got it covered with electrical tape. All right, so you've got two tabs right here and two notches right here, and then of course this long one right here. So these two tabs right here are gonna fit into those notches. But before we snap that in there, we take this long side right here, and we just pop it right up in there, and then line it up, line the notches with the tabs, and then you just push it right on in. And it really, honestly, it's as simple as that. Now the first time you do this, it's a little scary, you're not quite sure what to expect, but by watching this video, it should make it easier. So there you have it, quick and simple. And I wanted to make this video simple because the concept is simple, right? Your 12 volt battery is completely dead. And as a result, you can't open your front to get access to the 12 volt battery. So that's where this process comes in. Now, what I've noticed when I first got my Tesla in 2018, the 12 volt battery wasn't discussed much, if at all. But now that we have more cars that are older, like mine, and they're beginning to start to have problems with their 12 volt battery, people are beginning to talk about it a little bit more. And more and more people are beginning to hear about it as well, even some of the new Tesla owners. So you may have stumbled upon this series or this video in general, because you may have been hearing about those problems with the 12 volt battery. And if this is the first time in the first video you're watching about this, be sure to check out my series to understand more about the 12 volt battery in general. Well, thank you all so much for watching and you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and stay positively charged.